Okay, good morning from the bins here in Nashville. I'm just getting ready to head in. I haven't been here in maybe a month. Um, so it's a beautiful day out. There's already people lined up, but I don't line up because I don't like to fight. I would line up because I need to go to the bathroom because I've been sitting here for a few minutes because the bins are about 45 minutes from my house. So today my focus is on just getting quality items um, that I can not have to spend a ton of time on, time on before I get listed. I'm also looking for maybe some sweaters, things of nice fabric quality, anything new with tags, kind of what I was looking for last time. However, um, I did find a ton of shorts last time, which I'm not opposed to getting. So we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wellsourced coming at you with part two of a recent Goodwill Outlet bins haul. I had so much stuff I needed to divide this into two different hauls. The first one was probably way too long. I'm sorry if you made it all the way through there. Thank you so much for listening to me for an hour. This one I'm going to hustle through. I'm not going to talk as long per item, but I do pay $1.49 per pound at my Goodwill Outlet bins. And this day I picked up almost 100 pounds worth of things. Um, I'll put that on the screen. I think it was between 90 and 100 pounds. So I divvied up to about a dollar and change per item. Last time I actually went through and figured it all out. That took me a long time. So I'm just going to give you my best guesstimate. Just an average around a dollar to a dollar 49 per item, um, which is a great cost of goods, especially when maybe I can pick stuff up that I'm only going to get a return of, you know, 12 to 15 dollars on. I'm happy for that flip. So that doesn't mean that I'm not going to take home something that's going to flip for $50, but um, I will gladly do that as well. So this day I was on some sort of roll, had like an awesome day. I was just throwing things in my cart left and right. I didn't even thrift for as long as I normally do. And they didn't bring out as many rotations as they normally do. Although, as I've talked about in previous videos, I am not the person who's there for the rotation. I want to come in and grab whatever the leftovers are. That's my that's my role um, in the world. So this day I did get quite a few items. And um, this first part is going to be some accessories. And the second part is going to be the remaining bits of clothing. I did try to divide this haul up into half, half seeds to do the first half and then the second half. I did poorly. So this one will be a little bit shorter of a video, but um, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Okay, first up is a bag. It is a crossbody bag. It needs a little bit of assistance, maybe some Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam on there. Love that stuff. You can see a few little marks, but overall it's a nice solid bag with a um, brown contrasting strap that's adjustable. And the inside of the bag was, um, you know, just needs a little bit of wiping out. There's a few marks in there, but the brand is Able. You can see like some toothpaste or something on there. Um, I talked about it in my previous video. I had a t-shirt. This one was made in, handmade in Ethiopia or man-made in Ethiopia. Maybe it's to say handmade. Um, I think it's a predominantly female owned company and they um, source a lot of items from other women around the world in order to empower women who are in third world countries, I believe, to um, or impoverished areas to help them by purchasing their products to sell in the United States. So um, it's a California based company. So anyway, handmade in Ethiopia. Um, it's a cute little crossbody bag. It just needs a little bit of cleaning up, but I was willing to bring that home because I like that brand. And as I said before, it doesn't resale for the most, but how can you not love the story behind it? Right? This I brought home. I, it was just sitting on the top of a bin and somebody didn't want it, which I thought was really odd. Um, the brand is Kipling and it's this pink shimmer blush colored bag um and it is a larger size the inside has a few pen marks and whatnot but who doesn't you're just gonna put them in there too um has a key fob and then it does have a nice little zipper kipling stuff is pretty i mean solid that zipper has like their name all over it and it can be a tote kind of shoulder bag um, there is a little bit of a mark on here. I have not cleaned up any of the accessories yet. And I've just laundered all the clothing. And, um, or a crossbody. On the back side of the bag, there is a bit of a faint mark about halfway down as well. But I still think, you know, this will do all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put comps on the screen along the way. So you'll know uh, as 
I go along what I think I can get for each item. I obviously will list things a little bit higher just to, um, you know, when things, when I send out offers to allow room for that negotiation. Okay, this I picked up because it looked vintage. Um, it says, love bears all things with, a, it's a Corinthians verse on there. I'm not a religious person, but this is a Bible cover with these cute little needlepoint bears on them on both sides. This has like a little bit of a coffee mark. I'm just going to throw it through the wash. Um, so then you put your Bible in here and then it zips shut. It's got pens, pen holders, so you can make little notes. And um, these actually weren't, you know, maybe 15 to $18. So why not? This needs a little bit of a lint roll and some sweater shaving, but this is a vintage Gap bag. There's Gap and it is, the body of it is acrylic polyester recycled wool and other fibers. It's from 2000, fall of 2000. So it's 22 years old this month or this time of year, but it's a fun felted kind of recycled wool looking bag with this fun embroidery on it on the one side and just blank on the other. It's just a Velcro or hook and loop closure and, um, you know, just a little shoulder bag total, obviously Y2K since it came out in the year 2000. This I grabbed, it needs to be washed as well, um, just because it had a few marks on it, but it's a Victoria's Secret tote bag. I'm sure it was a gift with purchase or some sort of super good deal one Christmas. But I think someone will like it. It's this great red color with this black um, faux leather trim. It just had a few little kind of food marks on the back of it, probably from being in the bin, which is why I like to wash things when I bring them home from the bin. This is a new tag Nike bag for the Georgia Bulldogs, and it is a it has a little bit of a mark on there. It's new tag, so I'm just going to take a little white uh, rag to it. It looks like just a little something that was in the bin. Um, it also has like the little coin purse that goes with it maybe and the inside. I don't know if this is designed for the athletes. This is a women's, um, training bag and it has the color and style and everything. Collegiate licensed product. So this is for, um, you know, the Georgia Bulldogs. And I think that there's, has a huge fan base. So somebody will want this bag. It didn't have an MSRP on there, but... I went ahead and grabbed it anyway because it was new with tags. Okay, this is a Patagonia piece. I really love this color. And it is a one of the messenger bags. So it opens up. It has all these little things inside. Pouches, room for your laptop. And then it also has the pouch that comes out. Um, I, there we go. Out that you can just grab your laptop out of there if you want. And it's a, it's a classic messenger bag. It has some dirt marks on it. I'm going to throw it through the wash. It'll come out great. The back side of it, which God bless this company for doing this, EliteMeetings.com. They put their embroidery on the back side, not right by the logo. So if you're wearing this crossbody, no one's going to see that logo. So I really don't think it will deter from the resale on this as much as something that has a huge logo right on the front. Um... I think this is a great bag and it's in great condition. And if I traveled to work every day and needed to carry a laptop or something, I would for sure do that. Um, because I think it's a great bag. This is a pillow I picked up. It's got sort of a, to me, like a peacock feather vibe to it. It's gold and beaded with some silver threading through there. This is just a little throw pillow. It's got this subtle gold kind of um, trim around it. And I picked it up because it's Pier 1. I don't know why I pick up Pier 1 things because it's a business maybe. I feel like I should. But I think this is a great holiday pillow or a nice little pillow for someone who has this color scheme in their house. Um, and so I will go ahead and list that. And someone will want it, hopefully. Ah! Because I think it's a great pillow. A little top, pop of color for um, or pizzazz for someone. Okay, the last kind of accessory I think is this. This is a Disney lounge fly um, little miniature backpack and it goes, I can't think what these dolls are called. 
<sighs> not even gonna try. I'll put it on the word. Mo nope, not gonna try. Uh, it goes with the little dolls that they sell at the parks. And so this is like a little accessory for the doll. Um, I think these were like 10 to $12 for a resale. So not a huge return, but it was cute and I picked it up. Okay, well now when we go through shoes, keep in mind that I have not done anything to said shoes yet um, or really look them over. Super great for floss. But first up is a women's size nine uh, croc flip-flop. It's a T-strap, regular thong flip-flop with this metal looking, it's silver rubber, but metal looking ring in the front. I own a pair of these flip-flops in just a plain black. They are the most comfortable shoe. I've got like some arch issues on one foot and these are what I wear around all the time around the house just to give me some support. So these, once I wash these up, will be in great condition. Okay, these I picked up. Um, this has a little bit of a mark on it, but overall good condition. It's a stacked heel, um, ankle strap looking, open back, peep toe in this fun kind of caramel camel color leather. The brand is Tom's, which I like picking up Tom's, especially in these more modern styles. It's a women's eight, has this inside zip. And they are, it is a leather shoe. I can't remember what the style is on this. There is one mark on the top there, but really that doesn't detract to me um, from the cuteness of these shoes. So these didn't have the worst comps. Um, I'll go ahead and put those on the screen. And I think that, um, you know, I don't buy the Toms that are just the regular um, Alpharetta or whatever they are, Alpharetta, like canvas slides anymore just because they don't have the greatest resale on them. But these need to just be cleaned up a skosh, but they're really cute. The brand is Teva. And actually it may be Teva, but everyone in the free world calls them Tevas. <laughs> um, and the Teva style sandal, the original like nylon strappy one made a huge comeback. It looked like this year, but this is a cork wedge, leather strappy, closed heel, black sandal. Um, these are in really nice condition. They're size 10, otherwise I'd probably be keeping them for myself. And the, I mean, literally like very nice condition. These got tossed back in a bin. So I was happy to pick those up. This pair of sandals is interesting. Um, it's like a croc. Oh, maybe it's ostrich. Maybe that's what it's supposed to look like. An ostrich or emu or something. I don't know. But the brand is Coach. And you can barely see it on here. Uh, just barely. And it's the Coach Sunny. They're a size 6, which is a smaller size. I honestly don't do the best selling coach, but I thought these were a cute sandal with this. Um, it's either reptile or ostrich wrapped kind of detail on it with the cork sole. So I don't know a ton about the shoe, but I will look up more information on it and you will find out as I find out how much those will retail for or resale for. These I picked up because I liked the heel. They're a platform um, toed shoe or heeled shoe. They're a Zara woman and they have this platform down here. You can see it's got like a marbling effect, metal marbling effect look. And then the stiletto has the same look to it. They have, um, you know, limited amounts of wear on the bottom. They're a size 39 and the suede was in pretty good condition, um, or the faux suede is in pretty good condition. So, you know, Zara does okay for me, but I think this is an, oh, a fun pair of shoes with the stiletto heel here for somebody. These I grabbed because I thought they looked expensive and um, they were kind of hard to read in the bin. They need their leather or suede. They need to be brushed out a little bit and there are a few marks on the heel that I'm going to try to get out but you can see here it has this funky heel to it and um, if you have seen other shoes by this designer then you might recognize that it is Alexander Wang. Mm, you can see it in there and these are a size 40 and it's I can't remember what the brand of the shoe or what the style of the shoe is but 
in decent condition like these will hopefully look. These were going for maybe around $80 on the resale market, but um, you can see it's got the heels metal in there and it's just got that cut out. It makes very interesting shoes um, that have these bizarro heels or interesting heels on them. So I just need to get the little bit of dirt out of that um, one and brush out the suede on the rest. They're like a... I think they can come out and look okay. Someone just spilled their cocktail on it or something. Oh, there's one more accessory in here and a couple more pairs of shoes. So this is just Bagalini. Um, they make tra travel bags in this nylon fabric. Uh, this has a nice crossbody adjustable strap and the inside has places for your cards. And um, it probably has, you know, RFID blocking or something. I don't know on these this bag how old it is, but <coughs> it's got an outside zip pocket. They're just a great travel bag. These I picked up because they're just stinking adorable. I didn't even look to see if they had a size on them, but I think that they, even with the kids brands, they have measurements. So these are a kid's rainbow flip-flops. I've sold the rainbow flip-flops for our little kids before. They don't garner a huge return, but I mean, they're adorable. So let's just be real. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and look um, up the measurements for these. They are obviously like an infant toddler size and see if I can't get those listed, but they're so adorable. Look how tiny they are. These I picked up, um, it's not a brand that I would always pick up, but these are legit brand new. They are um, unstructured by Clarks. They're a comfort line shoe. This is the Natural Snake Python shoe, the Darcy. It's a size seven. They have a leather um, exterior in this Python print. And it's just a really cute kind of ballet flat, almost um, slip on shoe. So they, but the bottoms, I mean, they have the sticker. They're almost like they've been worn around the house maybe. And they're just a great, great shoe that um, has a little bit of, you know, spice down there, but that is also very comfortable. Okay, um, I've talked about washing most of the items I bring home from the bins. I have not washed this because it is wool and I will probably use, I have a dry cleaning kit at home, but um, I might wash it as well. It's the brand Savannah. I just assume it's a vintage tag. This is for me. It's a maroon colored. See, it's got a little sh something going on here. Maroon colored wool blazer with a gold button. I just thought this would be fun for the holidays to wear. Um, so that is for me. This is also for me. It is no brand. It is just a acrylic cream colored um, mock neck sweater with this great kind of marled knit with the green going through it. Thought that would be super cute. I also got this mock neck, just a polyester maroon colored sweater. Um, you know, for like $3, I got three tops to get me through the holiday season and upcoming vacation my husband and I are taking. This is funny. I saw this in the bin and I thought, I bet that's BKE. And it was. It has a very distinct look to it. It's just an open cardigan. Um, always has kind of these raw details on it. BKE is from Buckle. And usually has this mixed print action going on. And it's just a long line open cardigan. Um, and it is cotton acrylic polyester. So honestly, this will probably, you know, easy to list and sell. Um, maybe in that $18 range. This is, I've never picked up this brand in clothing, um, like a top or anything. I've only picked up in pants, but it's the Melissa McCarthy by seven line. And I've picked up those jeans before, but this is a really cute top. It's this white with polka dots and some pin tucking on the front. A little bit of a longer line blouse. It's a size 2X. So I thought that the tops might do as well as the pants do from that um, collab with Melissa McCarthy. And she's hilarious. So I would want to own her stuff too. This is Abercrombie & Fitch size medium. It is a longer line, kind of looser knit, almost a marled gray and white. I could almost wear this and I'm an extra large. So it's an oversized medium sweater. Um, Abercrombie & Fitch stuff, I'll pick it up because it does well. Um, 
and it's not something I ever wore as a kid, but it still does pretty, pretty well. The inside tag had been cut out, but um, this, you know, it's just a kind of a cotton feel to it. These are Pure Jill J. Jill, size extra large. So the Pure Jill line is usually like a nicer organic fabric of some sort um, or nicer feeling cotton. So this is a linen, 78% linen cotton blend. They're a pull-on pant, and I they're blue, I think, but like, like a blue-gray pull-on pant. They do not have, oh yeah, they do have pockets in this kind of crinkly fabric. And then they go down into a wide leg. It's a cropped wider leg pant and a size extra large lag and look kind of look to it. Um, perfect for somebody who is looking for those fabrics for sure. So this may have been just one of those things that I threw in my cart and didn't check comps on. Um, sometimes it happens or sometimes you just feel like I, this is gonna be at least worth 15 bucks so I'm not wasting my t all my time, right? The brand is Corey Lynn Coulter, which I think maybe some of these may have been, this brand may have sometimes been sold at Anthropology. Um, this is made in the USA. It's a size medium and it has, it's a jump jumpsuit, cropped leg jumpsuit with this wrinkled <laughs> look to it with this color blocking. So it's like blue, brown, like this terracotta color and black. And then the back is buttoned, which it is not right now. This is like a hot mess. This is one of those things that had to hang dry that really needs to um, have some <laughs> steaming done to it. But uh, it has a side zip. I mean, it's lined. It's not poorly constructed in any way. Um, and so I thought that it's kind of just funky enough that it might do okay. And I don't know what it's made out of, though. There, let's see. Rayon Polly, and it does have actually a 66170 um, RN, so this is this piece was made for anthropology. Um, so anyway, not that that necessarily matters, but I, I think it is a cute piece, and it will look cute on my like body form mannequin. Okay, this is a green. I will list this under maybe Grandma Core or Granny Core. Um, it has, that's just a, it's not a hole. It's just kind of, well, it is maybe a little bit of a hole, a hole here in it, but I think that does not really matter. I think it can be kind of smooshed together. <laughs> um, and it looks worse on here, obviously, than it would if you were wrapping it on yourself. But the brand is Tossie Hellas, handmade in Greek. It's a hundred percent mohair. So I feel like this is that grandma, grandma core, grandma shawl vibe um that somebody will want to wear in this upcoming you know season I like it myself <laughs> so as you can see though I mean I threw that on and you couldn't tell that that hole was there um so okay I picked up these leather gloves I found two pair actually and I couldn't find the match to the second pair but they're a size large. They are, um, let's see, genuine leather. And then they have like a polyester lining and thinsulate. But they're, the brown is, brand is Founds, F-O-W-N-E-S. It looks like an older tag. They do have some that look a little newer. But they are just like a pair of black um like driving gloves or murder gloves like i don't know you feel like someone would put these on before they were going to commit murder in a movie right so anyway um these are just a nice pair of gloves i wish i had found the other glove that went with the other one because i would have just you know had two pair this i bought i just think it's a great dress it's the limited it's a 14 petite and it is a true wrap dress which is not in a wrap front in this capacity sorry but it's a knee little below knee length lined wrap dress in this python print um i hate snakes so i don't know why i pick up snake printed things but they seem to sell well so money's money right <laughs> okay here's another j jill piece it's a size large this is just a um orange kind of coral colored three-quarter sleeve 
cardigan with just this one wooden button on it right there a looser knit fabric and it is linen viscose and rayon so you know with that linen blend that's a great keyword to use um j gel does sell well for me so i continue to pick it up okay this is the brand thor it's like a motocross riding pants um, these were in nice condition. They're just a blue riding pant and they're size 38. So I did go ahead and pick these up. My nephew's really into motocross. So I felt like I should pick it up and not let these, you know, go to uh, off to a landfill. And then out of this bag, this I bought for myself, my one book, I think I've ever purchased at the bin, um, a passion for potatoes. So I am like 49% a half percent Irish blood wise DNA and 30% uh, Scottish and then a variety of other things, um, Scandinavian, like Swedish and Norwegian, but I love potatoes <laughs> and my husband makes fun of me because I love potatoes so much. So, um, literally like Samwise Gamgee from Lord of the Rings you all see in that like potatoes that's me that is me i am a potato person so this i bought i i like cookbooks no one uses them anymore i don't think but i like them um but it's 200 recipes for appetizers entrees and side dishes and even desserts made of potatoes so that was 100 percent for me um uh, and i was happy to buy that okay last bag um Let's see what we have here. I feel like I'm surrounded by things right now. I have a lot of things to get listed, but I'm hoping this will take me through most of, well, the rest of Thanksgiving, through Thanksgiving, through November, and into the first couple weeks of December. So, um, and I will be relisting a lot of things I have, like sweaters, boots, um, jackets, those type of things as well to like supplement my new listings. Okay, this is another um, brand that I found a couple others of in my other haul. It's Swimsuits for All. And this is a size 20. This is a uh, swim dress. It's a one piece. And it has, it, you can be wearing it, I think it's strapless. Maybe it's a cross back. It does have removable straps on it. They just came unhooked as I picked it up. Fun kind of ruching drapey detail. Got the skirt down here. So it's a little more coverage for your, you know, modesty and your bum. And then um, it is, but it is a bathing suit. So this was like one of four or five bathing suits I found this day, which is great because I like selling bathing suits, um, especially new with tags ones. That one is not new with tags, but it looks unworn. This is the brand Michael Stars, which I don't know why I pick up. I've never really sold it. I just keep picking it up, but I really like this piece. It is a size medium. It's just real gauzy sleeveless popover top. Um, that is 100% cotton and made in India. So I thought that would do well. And there's a couple more like white items that I really did soak overnight to try to get any kind of marks there might have been in them out. This is another Chico's piece. I did in my other haul, you would see I picked up quite a few Chico's pieces. This is another Chico's piece in a size uh, extra large. It's this fun layered look on it on the back it's a it's an ivory color a cream color off-white and it has six bow zipper in the back so I think that will do well this was a brand um like a bolo brand maybe or that I've seen other resellers pick up before there's this is a diffusion line for it so this is Acris Punto um Acris is the main line this is a diffusion this is a US 8 and it is a cream knit dress that has kind of this mesh detail on the cap sleeves and then on the back about halfway down it's got it it's this cream color it's a heavy knit dress has these panels on the side here as well up the side um but it is lined so it, there are sheer panels but there is a lining underneath there so anyway this kind of looked like it maybe had a few marks on it i just soaked it in just about everything possible um, and I'm going to go ahead and list it. This brand looks like it, this Punto, the Acros Punto line, the dresses retail like, you know, upwards of $300 it looked like. So um, I, hopefully that doesn't have any marks on it. It's the first time I've really found 
that high end of a brand probably. Here's another MG piece. I do pick this up. I have found a piece in my last haul. Um, this is just a button front top and it's great plaid color colorway. And it's got this sheer lace scalloped detail on the bottom. So this is just a cute top. It's great for the season. So I need to get that listed. This I picked up for myself. Um, I might just list it though. It was, I, I might not wear it. It's in double XL, which in universal thread is a junior kind of size. So that's more like to me an extra large or a fitted XL. Um, but it's a really cute kind of high neck top in this fun brown and pink color, definitely 70s, 60s, 70s vibes, and these puff sleeves that are long. So I may just wear it a couple times and then resell it. I don't mind reselling Universal Thread or any Target brand for that matter. This is the silver brand, silver jeans. Um, it's the Suki Short and they are a size 30W or th women's 30, sorry. Um, so they have, you know, a little bit of the action going on in the pockets back here. I don't do super well selling this brand, but I'm happy to pick up shorts. Okay, this piece weighs more than um, your average piece. So one would think I would have picked up, you know, picked it up and done comps. No, I don't operate that way all the time. This is my second trip through after I checked out the first time. And I'm just trying to find a few more things for my cart. And I came across this. It says L. Gar L Garibaldi. Size small, medium, the baddest robe on the beach, California cowboy, design in California, made in China, designed in the USA. So it's really hyping up a lot of things about California and the USA. The tag looked fancy. Um, this is sort of that Aztec, I don't know, We remember the shorts that people used to wear, like hippie shorts or that you would wear, those like boho kind of ponchos. Um, this is a men's robe. It's fleece lined. It's a short robe. It had the tie with it. I threw this in the cart. I'm going to put the comps up on the screen for this to, sh to show you what it was, but I was surprised by the comps when I got back. So it was clearly a good pickup. Um, however, I don't always recommend not checking comps, when, especially because this probably weighs almost two pounds. So I was paying a little bit more money for it. This is flawed, but probably my favorite pickup of the day. It is a L.L. Bean size medium women's 100% um, cotton made in Thailand. I assume this is vintage or close to. And this is corduroy cuffed barn jacket in this purple color. Um, and it's got the front pockets. This one is just like cotton lined. It's not fleece lined or anything and it has on the back of one sleeve um a little bit of a bleach mark darn it didn't notice it in the bin i still think i can sell this for 30 dollars. if it was in better shape they're selling for 50 and up um, on these coats so this style is desirable and honestly the, even though it's a medium it's a, a bigger oversized medium this would even probably fit me I did read this trick where you can take like rubbing alcohol and with a Q-tip and go around the bleach mark to try to get some of the color to bleed on there. But I don't know how many times this has been washed. So, but I, it was probably my favorite pickup of the day because like my aunt had this like coat just like this. Hers might have been um, L.L. Bean or it could have been Lance End or something, but the barn coat to go out to the barn. I get to put it on when I was a kid to go feed the horses, those type of things. So that to me was my favorite pickup of the day out of all the things I found that were probably worth um, more money <laughs> and maybe a, be a quicker sale this is a pair of soft surroundings um, it's a size large soft surroundings their tag always kind of folds in but it's just a real cute pair of cargo shorts pull on style um, this feels like a tencel or lyocell blend rayon poly um so, but it has that feel to it. So it's a real nice, cute pant, pull on, longer length, great kind of army OD green color. This is a bummer. Um, it's a pair of Chico's shorts. It's a 3.5, which is like a one X or, and these are in a pant. So they're equivalent to a US 18. 
They're 100% linen shorts and they are stinking cute. But as you can see over here, one of the buttons is missing. The button broke, the center of it broke out. And so it um, broke out, so it fell off. But what I plan to do is take this button off at the top, move it down here, and then sew this one on from the outside in um, so that you can't even tell. These aren't even real buttons, unfortunately. Uh, and there aren't extras, so which was sort of a bummer. I was hoping there were. But I think that these shorts are worth mending because of they are linen and they're a great size and they're a great piece. So why I it'll take me 10 minutes to fix that. That's not a big deal for me. This is the fun print by Columbia. This is a little girl's or small or child's size medium. Columbia fleece, just a full zip fleece, but it has this fun pattern on it. Um, and it's pink and gray and blue. This is a great shape and I will gladly list that. This is the brand bon Bonobos. I say it wrong every time. I've looked it up and I'm never going to say it right. Bonobos. 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 <laughs> um, it's a size large slim. It's just a men's full zip sleeveless mock neck sweatshirt in this gray color, slim fit. I found a lot of Bonobos pieces this day. Um, I brought two home, the other one's in here. The other two had been maybe donated all by the same person, but he loved his clothing because he wore it out. So um, they were too damaged to bring home. Okay, this is another J. Jill piece. It was the day of the J. Jill for me. It's pure Jill, so um, size large. It's going to be 100% linen. And this is a great pull-on pant. Another lag and look piece, perfect for summer. And it has a tabbed pant leg. It's a, it goes down into like a straight leg almost. Um, these are another kind of green, army green khaki color. And just in great condition, perfect for spring and summer. This is a pair of Zara jeans. They're a size US four. And they are, I would consider this a skinny leg, um, but it almost is like a straight. And they're a mid-rise. Just I grabbed them at the very end just to put something in my cart. <laughs> so um, you know, those might sit for a minute, but it's something to list. Um, this is a it's for me, they're an airy, so American Eagle kind of comfort line, extra large, um, legging, pull on legging, and they're freaking soft and they have hip pockets for like my phone and stuff. So I really love that, especially when I'm listing items because I can stick my phone in there and my pen and the other thing and my, you know, do my thing and I'm not setting stuff down because then I tend to lose things. I swear I owned these shorts when I was a child. The brand is Palmetto's. So straight out of the 90s, 100% um, cotton, size 9, made in Costa Rica. And yeah, my waist might have been this big at one point in my life. There are these yellow plaid, I think my more purple, and I'm not kidding that I feel like I own these exact shorts. Um, plaid, high-waisted, you know, 90s shorts. Um, I know 90s maybe aren't as popular as other, maybe it's moving into the Y2K and other decades right now, but... Those were, I couldn't leave those behind. These are super cute. It's a pair of Ann Taylor Loft, which I swear I will not pick up anymore, but I lie to myself every time. It's the Marissa pant in a four petite, but they are these um, navy blue cropped straight leg pants with the eyelet detail here. And they are, these are so cute. Some woman's going to rock these with a crisp white shirt, some like nice tan sandals and look fabulous. Okay, here we go with the other Bonobos piece. Bonobos. Bonobos. We don't care. <clears throat> Jeans, they are a size 36, 32. Um, these were in nice condition. They are just a men's straight leg jean and I picked them up because I, jean, I don't pick up a ton of men's jeans. Okay, this beauty right here is the brand Leslie Fay Petite Sportswear. Uh, it's polyester and it is, 
what size are you? I don't know. I think it says it on one of the pieces. Anyway, it's this top. This is the top. It buttons down. Sorry, it's not buttoned. But look at the pattern on this beauty. Um, so this is the top and button. Oh, no, that's the back. Psh, ah, button back top. And then it has the matching skirt, um, which says it's a size 10. I'm going to say it's not. A matching skirt below the knee and then <clears throat> the matching belt so this whole outfit I mean someone can piece this somebody will will rock this not me but somebody will really own this and rock this um, to me this is like straight out of the 80s um, early 90s kind of piece so I really think that's fabulous and that is a fun way to end this haul so I had such a fun day this day I have so much to list and um, but I did pick up some really great pieces and just found some stuff that I've never found before. Brands that I've hoped to find, I've never found, but that I did to this day. Um, and if you didn't watch my previous haul, I'll link it up here. Go back and check that out. I found some great brands that day too. But it was just one of those days where I was just happy picking stuff up. Um, and I usually have a positive outcome when I go to the bins. And for such a low cost of goods, it's just a great feeling to come out of there knowing that you pick some stuff up that was basically determined, you know, destined for the trash bin and you grabbed it and you can sell it and turn a buck and, you know, um, and also have fun doing it. It's such a, it's such a fun gig. And I think that, you know, if people get to the point where maybe they're not loving it anymore, I'm, I'm sad for them, but I really do love it. Do I love coming home and photographing everything? Not really, but I just spend a day photographing you know, as many items as possible. And I do that twice a week. And maybe I can get, you know, almost a month's worth of listings done because I only list five items a day ish, depending on how much I'm selling. I try to keep that up. So, you know, I it's just like you for a short amount of work for the part I don't care for. It's so much worth the reward of the parts I do really love about it. So if you are interested in me, if you are interested in me, if you are interested in following me along on this journey, um, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified so that when I post future content, you'll be the first to know. And I do post weekly content typically on Fridays, but throughout the holidays, I'm going to try to be consistent with that as well. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Take care.